Det är en experiment to record the whole screen in HD quality. And I didn't know exactly what to record, so I'm gonna redo that trick. And I have some C code and want to optimize one function into assembly code. Now I'm on a 64-bit Linux system. I have started a CD tune in the background because YouTube is very um, doesn't like copyright protected music, but this is an old Commodore 64 for CD tune, so I don't think it's copyright protected. Uh, in the main function, what happens? It reads in two numbers from the command line, puts them in integers a and b, and then prints the result number one plus number two. Uh, and doing that, it calls an external function that's called add, and it's this add function is defined externally in some other file. And it is this add function that I'm going to try to optimize into assembly code. Uh, and it's here in this add. And it doesn't do very much. It takes two <laughs> integers as input and return those two integers added together. So, and I have a make file. And it, I tell it to, to take these two object files, add.o and main.o, and then some flags to the compiler and uh, link them together into one program that's gonna be called add. So make, woohoo, and we have an add program. Add, I'll take two numbers, one and two, and the result is three. Great! So if I want to debug and see what happens, then I can run con console debugger, it's called cgdb, and I want to tell it which Okay, here we can set the parameters. Uh, you know, arguments. Take other arguments, five and four maybe, and break in the add function and run. Ooh. Let's see what the first argument is. Print a, it's five, and the second argument, print b, it's four. And if I run finish, it's gonna run to the finish, and it returned with um, the result nine which is correct, 5 plus 4 is 9. And the next uh, row here, the printf will print out this. A plus B is 9. Woo! Uh, so, if I want to, uh, I want it to hang. <laughs> okay, I just crashed this. just run gcc like this and add.c it's going to produce the assembly code in the file add.s here so we can actually edit this file And say the source file is not add.c, it's add.s. And here's some code, and it does a lot of strange stuff. Hmm. It really does some strange stuff. But what do you Yeah, anyway. But, and, and now if I remove add.c, move it to another name, add.c, to addc.c. Now the compiler is gonna use this one instead to create the ob add.o object file, add.s. Make. And it worked. The add.o is created from this, this file, add.s instead of add.c. And it should work as previously. Add 5 and 6 is 11. And cgdb. Set arguments. 1 and 2 break in the add function. Now let's see what's happened if I run it. 
Woohoo, I get into the assembly code. And let's see what happens here. First it moves the contest of register EDI to something on the stack. Okay, what was EDI? Print. You can write dollar and then the name of the register. It was one. Okay, this was the first the first argument. And the second argument was two. It's, and it seems to be an ESI. Let's see if it's correct. Print dollar ESI. Yeah, there's two. So DI and SI is moved to the stack, and then what happens? <laughs> then the second argument, which was ESI, is moved to EAX. The first argument is moved to EDX. To the stack and then from the stack. Let's see. EAX and EDX. And then this line adds EDX and EAX together and puts the result in EAX. And there's the result in EX3, and then it returns. First it restores in the beginning of this function. It does it saves uh, this base pointer uh, the stack pointer in the base pointer. And now it restores the base pointer register. I mean, it's good if you have local variables and stuff, but we don't have that, so we can optimize everything that away. Let's just see that it works. One plus two is three. And I can quit it this time. <laughs> Okay, let's edit add.s to simplify it a bit. Don't use base pointer at all. I don't want to move EDI to the stack. I can move it directly to EAX. And then I don't want to move ESI, the second argument, to the stack. I can just add, add it to EAX, yeah, directly. And it was add L. And then I can remove all those lines below. So it was a little bit simpler now. <laughs> Let's see if it still works. Yeah, it works. And let's see with CGDB. Almost three and four. Yep, here it comes. EDI should be what was the argument? Three and four. It should be three. And ESI should be four. Yep. Okay, so now EAX should be three. And after this line, EX should be 4 plus 3, which is something like uh, 7. And return. And printed the line. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Great. And that was actually all I wanted to show you. So if you have a more complicated function, you can do it just like that. First, uh, compile it into the assembly code, and then go in and edit the assembly code and optimize it by hand for the function you want to optimize. And before doing this, you could use something like profiling to try to identify bottlenecks in the code. But I can show you that some other time.